Let me show you how to do it um, when we're trying to find the instantaneous velocity. So look at this line here. This line has a slope that's changing. So it starts off with zero slope, and the slope just gets steeper and steeper. Well, if the slope increases, that means, and slope equals velocity, that means that the velocity is increasing for this line, okay? Um, and probably what it is, is it's just started at zero and it's accelerating uniformly, right? And so its position is actually one half a t squared. And so as time goes by, it, this is like a parabola, right? Okay, that's probably what's going on. Now, what you do, if they ever ask for the instantaneous velocity, they're really asking for the instantaneous slope at six seconds. Well, how do you do that? Well, first thing is draw a little dot there. Okay. And then use a tangent line. It's very hard to figure out the slope of that line and that little bitty bit there, especially since it changes. But if you draw a long tangent line, very long, as long as you can, in fact, it would be even better if it went even a little farther that way. Okay. Um, then you can use the endpoints of the line. I don't even need to use six seconds. I'm going to use these points here, and I'll just use point point form and find the slope. Okay. So uh, this point here looks to be, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'll say that it went all the way over there. So it's nine. Uh, it's nine over. And one, two, three, four, five point one up. Okay, this one is one, two, three point. I'm going to say 3.05 over. Okay, and it is zero up. Okay, and now I'm all set. I can just go uh, y minus y over x minus x, right? So 5.1 minus 0 divided by 9 minus 3.05. And obviously, there's got to be room for, like, interpretation here, right? There's not, like, one right answer. If you get within 5% or 10% of the answer... We're pretty good here. Okay, so parenthesis 5.1 minus 0, right parenthesis divided by left parenthesis 9 minus 3.05. I'm getting 0.86. Approximately 0.86. Now, if you got 0.9, that's probably good. 0.82, that's pretty good. That's within like maybe 5% of that, right? And that's meters per second. So that's what you do. Draw a dot. A tangent line, the rule for a tangent line is it has the same slope as the uh, line at that point. So try to draw it symmetrical on there, eyeball that, right? And then use the end points, that's the key. Use these guys. You don't even use that point. We're using this uh, as far apart as you can get. Yay. I'll do uh, three more examples here, I think. 